And where we're going is now encompassing things like security and even finance and planning and shaping and customer success. And that's why you hear that, you know, dev, biz, sec, ops. Yeah. Um, and yeah, various alphabet soup versions of all these things. Right. Mm -hmm, it it mm -hmm. essentially is just pointing to the fact that we're now working across the entire organization yes. in value streams that flow from we have something that a customer wants or something that we want to provide mm -hmm. to we've actually delivered that and we've validated that it's valuable. Mm -hmm. We understand that that is something that people want. And so we can move on to something else, you know, keep it yeah. going, but do more, do better. Yeah. And security is one of these things that needs to be present through that entire yes. thread. Right. Mm -hmm. And traditionally with legacy ways of working, security was a phase, just like testing was a phase, just like operations was a phase. Yep. And there was the the handoff instead yes, of exactly. this partnership, right? You're and, on your own now. Yeah, collaboration. Take the thing and yeah, yeah. Right. And so, you know, we used to be in a situation and I think in a lot of organizations, we still are. Product teams have come a long way, but we still have these kind of shared services and mm -hmm. dependencies and bodies inside the organization that have very specific responsibilities and their incentives are not aligned. Mm, mm -hmm. And where you get alignment is in stream aligning all of these teams and capabilities, mm. which means early on in the flow, you have security as a consideration in some form. You know, it could be as simple as a checklist. Uh, it could be as simple as a quick assessment. You know, does this raise alarm bells or not? Mm -hmm. And it really just does have to be that simple. And then as you flow through and get closer to the customer delivery, the deliverables change, the concerns change, the scope changes, mm -hmm. and you get closer to, yes, this is safe, this is valuable, this is high quality, this is performant, this is what they asked for, um, and maybe beyond. And that flow from start to finish, it really does involve participation and representation from all these different groups. And the way that we're starting to do that is really interesting. So we're hmm. starting to move into scenarios where we have these stream aligned teams that have just the folks who are really most key to delivering the product, but leveraging capabilities that get provided by all kinds of different specialist platforms and platform teams. Okay. So in software delivery, what that looks like is I have a team that builds and provides uh, developer environments as a service to the rest of the organization. So across all my product teams, anybody can get an environment with a couple of clicks or a Slack message or a command line call or an API call or something like that. And that's our product. You know, we, we, deliver that to the organization. Mm -hmm. And security, I believe, should function in exactly that way. So yeah. we provide secure capabilities okay. and guidance in a self-service manner to mm -hmm. all the participants across the value stream who need security as part of their yes. value delivery process, right? So right. early on, that means that as a product owner, I can go into JIRA and when I create a new task, it has security represented as, as the requirements, right? Like there's clarity on the uh, this, this task or this story needs to be secure. It needs the following things. And if it has those things, you can move on. You know, we can progress mm -hmm. through the flow. And then all the way down, it starts to look like, um, automated validation inside of a pipeline where the code mm -hmm. goes through and we check the, the software bill of materials and, and check the provenance of, of everything that's being included as a dependency mm -hmm. and all the way. So then, and it might actually end up as um, parts of the release note, you know, this mm -hmm. security fixes, right? So 
there's no point in that flow, in that end-to-end value stream where security isn't represented in some way. Mm -hmm. But what you don't want to do is have a security role inside of each of your product teams because you might have hundreds of them. Right, yes. And you can't, like having hundreds of them is not a solution because where are you going to get a level of standardization? Uh, Where are you going to get coordination? Where are you going to get common tooling or learning across? That's more rather than less complexity, yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. So Mm -hmm. um, I'm a very strong believer in this sort of products and platforms approach Mm -hmm. uh, with a, you know, a very loose definition of platform, you know, platform meaning as someone who doesn't do this full time and it's not my focus, I can leverage the capability uh, without bothering somebody. Mm -hmm. And, you know, that's usually in, in most cases today is I go bug someone from security Mm -hmm. or probably more likely someone from security bugs me when they notice something that I didn't do. Right. And so eliminating that friction, eliminating the delay, eliminating the handoffs and those separate incentives, uh, is, is really where we're going. And that's really what I'm excited about because, if we talk about security as in a platform context, in a self-service context, uh, that security team is 100% incentivized to create a very capable um, self-service platform. They understand a customer, you know, they understand an ultimate customer to the business, but they also understand internal customers. Right. And they can be, you know, tasked with providing that, that service, whatever it looks like. And, uh, and I think that's really the key to unblocking this high performance flow. I'm excited to announce that our InfoSec skills platform will be releasing a new challenge every month with three hands-on labs to put your cyber skills to the test. Each month you'll build new skills ranging from secure coding to penetration testing to advanced persistent threats and everything in between. Plus we're giving away more than $1,000 worth of prizes each month. Go to infosecinstitute.com challenge and start your challenge right now.